Hi everyone, it's Lisa with InkinInspirations.com. Thank you for joining me for another Tuesday tip. And in a previous video that I have on my YouTube channel and my blog, I made this graduation card that is a different size than our standard size five and a half by four and a quarter inch finished cards. So I needed to make an envelope for it. So I chose some of the designer paper that is on the retiring list. I'm hoping it's still available. It's the typeset newsprint style designer series specialty paper, and it's thin and great for envelopes, and it's just a, um, a vanilla and a black and some different patterns that make great envelopes. But as far as sizing is concerned, what I do is I take my card and I measure six and a half, I see here, and then three and a quarter there, and then I get my envelope punch board, and I find the measurement that is closest to that finished size card. And right here you see three and a half by six and a half. So I went with that. I cut an eight and one quarter inch square piece of the designer paper and I put it on the scoring mark at three and one eighth and then proceeded to make the envelope. And I'll show you, it's a little uh, larger than the card needs, but it's fine and it will go through the mail just first class. And so now all I have to do is put some adhesive here to seal it up. And then I wanted to share how I address these type of envelopes when you have a printed paper. And I've shown this before, but I thought I'd share it again. I have some gesso here that I got from a craft store and I just paint it on the front, kind of a messy look, okay? And then you let it dry, and then you can address it or put the name on it in a Sharpie or a felt marker. Something permanent will write very easily on this. I'll take my heat tool and give it a quick dry to speed up the process, and then this is ready to go in the mail. So I hope you can use that little tip. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.